Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Michael Mail with Rookie Affiliate where we show you great tools and great ideas to grow your online business or even to start one. Today we're going to talk about a tool called Tidy Cal, which is a calendar schedule management software. It's really good, especially if you're looking for something, you know, just something quick to easy to set up on your website or just schedule appointments and meetings with different clients and different people. So if you like this video and you like the content in this video, please subscribe to our channel and join us because we have great information out there for you. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we're in the dashboard of TidyCal. When you log in, it's simple, easy, basic. This is what the dashboard looks like, okay? So right now in the dashboard, we have 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and, and 60 minute meetings you can schedule, P uh, sorry, people can schedule for paid or non-paid. But if you want to create a new one, you would hit this button, create new booking, and it would take you to this right here. And this is basically, you will put the information in, of what the title would be you put the, uh, the little description if you want to and then what you would do is you would go down here and you would change the times of what you want the meeting for so we're going to do 10 minutes okay and this is the part for basically if how long you think the meeting might go over so we're going to say the meeting might go over for five minutes if we have individual people so but we only want to schedule the meeting for tuesdays and thursdays okay so what's going to happen is you people only allowed to be scheduled a meeting between eight and five. Okay. So once you pull all this information in and once you hit create, it's going to say booking type saved. Now this is the link that you're going to give the people so they can go into the system and book their appointments. Okay. So once you give that information, um, you will be able to see, I'm mean, sorry, once you create that, you'll be able to see that that meeting was generated and it'll be on your dashboard. Okay. So next thing you have is here is where all the bookings will be. So you can see what you have open for things that you've scheduled. So if you hit refresh, the new one shows up and these are all the bookings schedules that are open. So for instance, if you have different times, I mean, sorry for different meetings and stuff like that, it will all be here so you can see it. So when a person goes in and books appointment, they're going to be able, they're going to see Sorry, they're going to see this, okay? As you notice, it says 10 minutes. That's all the meeting for. And of course, you gave it a buffer for about five more minutes just in case it goes over. And you notice it shows only Tuesdays and Thursdays. So these are the only times that people can schedule for that particular meeting that you scheduled for or a consultation for your business or just a team building meeting, whatever you want to do. So, and when people go in to set the schedule, they go in and they see all the times. Now, you can go in and schedule times. So if you only want to do maybe Thursday, sorry, Tuesday and Thursday from say nine o'clock to noon, you go into the settings again when the beginning and you'll set that schedule for that time. And that's the only time will pop up on this schedule. Okay. So a person would basically go in and click on this and then put their name. And then we put the, they will put the email. and then they would just book it. Okay. So then they will get a comfort. They will get an email confirmation saying they were invited to that meeting. Okay. Then what you do here on the next thing to see on your schedule, you will see if there's anything on your schedule. And as you can see, it's on your schedule that you have a meeting with Michael at this time. Now, the great thing about the schedule, you can see upcoming schedules, past, um, past bookings, cancellation so someone's canceled on you and you can see all bookings so that's one thing that's really good about this okay so another thing is that you can do is you can add your bookings to your um word uh to your wordpress website or integrations to use so what you would do is you would use pick your schedule say for instance we're going to do this one and you integrate it and then you'll copy this code here and then you go in the back end of your website, HTML, and then you put that in here. And then you'll save it and process it. And then if you hit refresh, it's gonna show up on your, as one of your pages on your website, okay? Now, the cons about this is that it has backlinks from the company on your website. So if you're a type of person that don't like this, this is not going to be good for you. But if you don't care, you want to use something that's free or low cost 
just to get started, then this is for you, okay? So other things that they have is um, basically you can go in and you can edit the branding. So you can change stuff. You can change, you can put your picture here. You can put a different email address where you want to receive the emails. You can change the time zones and your dollar amounts, which will go on reason why you, why you have the dollar amount here. And you can go and put a little bit of information and you can choose colors. In case you know, it'd be red, blue, black, whatever. And you go in and you change that. And that's simple as that. Like I said, this is a simple, simple, simple platform. Nothing crazy, nothing major. Okay, so um, let's talk about integration. Okay, so you can integrate this with your Gmail and you can integrate it with your Office. Apple's coming soon, which is gonna be huge because a lot of people who have MacBooks can use this platform, okay? You can also integrate it with Zoom to set up meetings. Now, you basically get your Zoom contact information and you click on that and you put your Zoom information in here. Now, the only way you can use Zoom is to do the upgrade, which we're going to talk about in a second. So, and then for a payment, so if you are scheduling payments and charging people, you can have your PayPal information in here. Just put your PayPal email account and any payments that you, that you um, charge will be billed through PayPal, which is good, okay? So let's talk about the upgrades, okay? So we're going to talk about how much this costs and the upgrades, okay? AppSoon is running a deal for $19, one-time fee, okay? $19 will get you access to the upgrades and your Zapper will be the one that you use to integrate your Zoom and other integrations that is available, okay? So with this, you get the plan meeting without the back and, you know, the back and forth emailings. You get the schedule free, paid, schedule free and pay. So it means you can not charge you. You have the ones like no meetings you charge and ones you can charge for. So if you basically, if you are um, a contractor and you are giving uh, a quote and you charge people for the quote, not quote, but the consultation, then you would put that in there and let them know that when they book their meeting, they have to pay you maybe such and such, maybe $90 for that consultation. And you can, um, it's good for project managers, it's good for sales managers, and it's good for people who basically want to use something simple and easy. And like I said, for $19, you can't beat it. Like I said, the downside of it is that it does put backlinks of AppSuno on your website. So if you're not wanting that on your website, then this is not for you. Hopefully, that will change in the future as they're going, because this is fairly new. So this is the basic plan right now. So hopefully when they do the upgrades and work on this more, they will remove that from being added to your website. So we'll see, we're hoping. So anyway, the integrations, like I said, um, when this came out, they didn't, they didn't have the integration for 365 Microsoft, but now there's available. And you can basically put your email as your primary email and you can change the times, like I said before, and you can even ask questions. So if persons, um, questions when a person's booking a meeting, there could be questions you can ask people about and they could put that in there. It's very simple and easy. And like I said, you can integrate it into your WordPress website in the back end. You can just build in Wedgie and put it in there. And then you can basically show that, like I said before, um, it, it will be on your website. So it will look like this, okay? So again, it's not, it's simple, easy. It's nothing glorious about it. It's just a simple $19 plan. You play one time only and you're good to go. It's for life and you get all the upgrades. So like I said, this is something new. It's only one license. You get to add 10 calendar connections, free paid meetings and reduces branding. So that means that, you know, you can change the branding and stuff like that in the background. It's a simple, like I said, simple and easy. It's for people who are looking for something low cost to grow their online business or start one. And this is the calendar promotion thing that you use, especially if you want to spend a lot of money on monthly fee, you need something simple to start out with if you're just starting out a business, okay? So again, there's a link at the bottom of this video. If you like this product, click on it. It will take you to this. I am affiliate, so any commissions I get will help my channel grow. It's a small commission, not very much. So, and it's you don't pay no more than what you have is $19 and that's what you pay for, okay? So like I said, this is a good product, so. Again, this is Michael Mail with Affiliate Rookie. And if you like this video, you like the content, you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching my video and you have a great day. Thank you.